Oh, none of them have ice cap survival. That's like your first skill you need. All right, when do they get this? This is like the most crucial thing in this world. We're getting closer and closer to a world that's just gonna be dominated by AI-only games. And I, I would like to take some credit for that. I've been pushing this stuff for years and I'm gonna continue to push this stuff. This is another one that I'm really excited about. Basically, we're gonna create a planet, a planet that has anything we want, any sort of geographical features, basically. And we're gonna watch human civilization rise up, nations form and see how stuff is affected. I don't know, let's just jump into it. World generation is done. Okay, so it looks like the game can do uh, no, we're gonna edit this a little bit. The game's just gonna randomly pop us in. This looks like Mars. Have you guys ever seen, like, the Mars, like, Mars with water? It has, like, kind of a perfect little circle continent like this. But, okay, let, let's change it around a little bit. What is this? Scale, terrain, altitude. I don't even know. What is, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I think, is things getting, oh, it's getting greener, right? I, well, so, prob, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's getting greener. Sea level offset. Okay, so we can basically create a world with no water right i'm assuming just oh my god it's hideous okay don't want to do that oh we can make a little archipelago though that'd be cool just like a planet full of polynesian type cultures all right you know i'm down for that all right hold on i still gotta mess with a couple of these things so we can make average temperature 63 degrees celsius so that's super hot we can make it i guess a desert planet with water oh but what if you add a bunch of rainfall that's not gonna do much, right? Would that create- Oh, it creates forests. Kind of. Plains or something? I don't know. Yeah, we got a brush. I can kind of paint things now. Okay, this is really cool. I've always wanted a game just like this, where I can create whatever type of geography. Okay, well, we can lift up. Yeah, we can definitely create, like, little uh, mountain ranges and things like that. I should create, like, a Himalayas in my world. Oh, and they got a temperature brush. Cool. I am really liking these brushes, because I am. A brush, as you can see. What if we made, like, the polar ice caps super hot? Like, that was the hottest part of the planet. Would that even... Doesn't make any sense, but we could try that. This is the part I like the most. I should have showed this right away. Uh, there is a globe view. So, uh, this might be a bit better. Again, if I make, like, yeah, the the polar parts as hot as possible, what, what exactly would happen? If I set the sea level to as high as possible, and there is no land, can we... Can we go forward with the simulation? Select location. Just how about right here in the middle of the ocean? Is that gonna work? Can we do that? Oh, wait, no, it won't let us. Dang, okay, yeah, you do need some sort of land. Okay, well, we know that now. So here's my little archipelago world. I created a bunch of little tiny islands, and let's see exactly how these humans are gonna survive. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to conquer all this stuff. How did you manage all this? All right, let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna start with, boom, like an Adam and Eve. Two people. It's gonna be a whole lot of, uh... Habsburg stuff going on down here. I guess I'll give him like a nice, you know, lush island. This island has a lot of different uh, temperatures going on. Maybe this would be good. How about like there? Wow. Okay, this is happening way too quickly. I started with two people. I mean, we are going really fast in time. Let me let me slow it down maybe a bit. Oh yeah, we're going like a thousand years a second. Okay, that explains a lot. All right. So I believe everyone has already made it. All like kind of tribal humans have pretty much already conquered the globe. They've gotten to every single island. There's no nations just yet, and I have no idea what kind of technology. I'm sure they're taking a while. Are these deserts? I've made, like, small desert islands. That's terrible. This really is just a hell world. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got, like, density, farmland, preferences, skills, knowledge. They, they don't got no knowledge, that's for sure. Here's, like, a nice view of all the coastlines, as if we didn't have coastlines before. Wait, is our planet going to change over time? I wonder if we might lose land. Well, there's no ice, so I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, we're doing stuff now. Here we go. Tribalism discovered. Okay, we're taking policies. People are, are finding plant. Oh, yeah, we got a little purple nation. Actually, we got more than that. We got like blue, purple, green. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There's also a little data up here to show me like, wow, these are all the leaders that are like dying in, a, in an instant. I've got all sorts of things going on, different ages and wisdom, charisma, but honestly, it's, it really doesn't even matter in the long run. That is uh, as deep. There's a lot of islands that still haven't been touched yet, so this is gonna be actually really interesting. We're gonna see like maybe a Imperial Japan rise up and just start taking everything. Oh, triple island right here. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, oh that's demonetized. We've got like, what, six nations all sharing this, like the biggest continent? Something like that, but uh, yeah, I wish I could pronounce like just some of these names. I, I wish they were normal. I had no idea I made the smallest little island imaginable. Uh, <laughs> let's see how these people do, because uh, they are 
they're living on an atoll. I think the biggest nation so far has over, is this a million tribe members? That can't be right. There's no way they fit a million people on this island. I don't know how big this planet is or how small humans are. Are humans super tiny in this planet? It's kind of interesting seeing like the wars and civil wars, the battle for each island happening. Oh man, yeah. Uh, Cause sometimes you see like someone take over, but then they just break apart and they break in half and then they gotta start the process all over again. These little red guys here is, uh, they're apparently disorganized bands. So there's like a disorganized rebellion, I guess, going on inside of this country. This might be the most chaotic continent of all. It, it, it fits a lot of people. And they haven't, even, they haven't even really colonized the whole thing. There's a lot of, uh, well, they're trying to. They're getting close slowly. This is the route display or route overlay of the planet. Basically, obviously, you can go anywhere. There's no limit because, yeah, humans can easily travel through boats and things, things like that. This is the language map mode. And as you can see, everyone's just doing their own thing. There is no single language here. Some islands are kind of united, others not so much. You would think that at this point, I mean, I, I don't know how long it's supposed to take, but you would think at least the same island would be unified. This one is. All right, this, this might take over. Ah, that's an amazing name for this language. So beautiful, very, very thoughtful. Shipbuilding, who can build ships? I'm assuming everyone. Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily look like everyone can build ships. It looks like most people can build. Well, certain places are better than others. So this little island, for some reason, is just cranking that out left and right. This is England. I don't know. That's this world's England. Y'all got agriculture? Somewhat agriculture. This little circle island is doing pretty good. Uh, I'm assuming everyone has agriculture. Just, yeah, certain places are doing better than others. This is the most densely packed island, and, uh, I don't really know why. I mean... This is kind of a weird world to be doing this in, because I, I feel like humans would naturally migrate pretty logically, but because everyone's just an island, you know, you just stumble upon certain places before others. Okay, now hold on. Let me try this again. Let me try... Okay, well, I don't want a frozen planet. Let's not go with the frozen planet, but I am going to mess with this a little bit, something that that is kind of exactly what I was hoping for. I've always been curious what would happen. We're basically going to have humans survive on the snow on the snow caps, and uh, I doubt this is gonna go well. I don't know what you're gonna do for agriculture or food, but you know, that doesn't matter. Oh no, oh, it's inhabitable. Okay, I gotta give them at least some green stuff. All right, now here we go. So uh, luckily they've got a bit more room to work with now. Oh man, are they even gonna go in the middle? Oh, this is gonna be so weird. Have they made it to the South Pole yet? They did. Wow, how did they do that so fast? All right, this makes no sense, no sense whatsoever. I don't even know what happened here. Don't, don't ask me, but uh, I do like, well, come on. Wouldn't eventually as technology gets better, we'd be able to go out here and live on the ice caps? I feel like that'd be, I don't know, essential. This globe looks like it's wearing a little hat. I don't know, to me, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a nice little hat, basically. This is where the most valuable land's coming from, so let's see who gets most of this. Basically, the mud woods women taking uh, a lot of it, uh, they need to... Yeah, they're gonna be competing with some people though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that there is no such, yeah, there's pretty much routes all over the place. You can't, can't mess that up. I'm really curious to see which pole does better because I, I yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna advance for like millions of years and see exactly which side does better. I'd imagine here, they just have more usable stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention some of this stuff is like mountains. Uh, well, a uh, kind of some 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 are more mountainy regions than others. Oh, I totally forgot about that. So the way like obviously the sun or star of this planet is positioned, wouldn't that mean like they're extremely fast days or something? There, there's definitely an effect on these people being like up at the top and at the bottom. Oh yeah, I can also focus on certain nations. So like depending on what I want to do, uh, I guess these guys are just deciding to. Open tribal influences, sometimes not open, mostly open. Oh, that's what it looks like. It looks like a spade. I was trying to figure out exactly like why this kind of seemed familiar to me. So the South Pole is like a spade. Also, what is happening here? Do they have like a minor rebellion? Just very tiny people deciding, yeah, they, they don't want to be part of this. It's weird to see like certain groups of humans not stay organized as they get closer to the pole. Like, you know, these guys haven't formed their own country. They're just... I don't know, nomads or something. I wish when I zoomed in, it didn't get blurry. <laughs> I wish I could see little, like, stick people running around. That'd be a nice addition. Yeah, this way of viewing is just definitely not as fun. Like, you can't really get an idea. That's why, like, I'm, I'm so down for the globes right now. I've, I've not been... I, I've been neglected 
of a nice globe. So anytime I get a chance to use it, I'm gonna use it. Kind of cool to see some of these other discoveries, boat making, sailing, tribalism, and plant cultivation. I'm wondering if this is gonna expand one day. Obviously this game is still being developed, so we might see different technologies. Man, if they can like get off this planet, that'd be really cool. Oh, none of them have ice cap survival. That's like your first skill you need. All right, when do they get this? This is like the most crucial thing in this world. Oh, interesting. So some have desertic tundra survival, clearly. And those are like the nomads. They're not a part of any nation though. Some can survive on the glaciers. Okay, that's really cool. So there's like this glacier. I don't know how the South Pole is doing. I'm just checking. Ooh, they look like they're doing even better. Tundra survival, everyone's, you know, or at least most people have got tundra survival. Grassland survival doesn't really matter too much. Oh wow, I had no idea I'd created huge forests at these ice caps. That makes sense. The rainfall is still like ridiculous, even though it looks like a bunch of snow. Any sort of green land has like a ton of rainfall. I don't know why I did that. Density right now I think is currently being won by the Northern Pole. Definitely, because th their edges are much brighter, I think longer a bit too. Anyways guys, let me know if you wanna see more of this game. I thought it was pretty cool. I think if I build a better world, we'd see a little bit more expansion, but I kinda of wanted to like just mess with, I don't know, how crazy I could make it. And that was, that was pretty weird. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to the Spooktober patrons. LPC, Elijah Senpai, Lucifercation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Bonnie Day Fami, Cooter Donkey, Mr. Perk, Brandon Hinkle, Mega Fat Boy 2.0, The Hentai Lover, Militime, Sleeper 56, Birthday Daddy, Ballin' Like Stalin, Clovin, Free Cruise, Vincent S, Public Education, Halofsky, A. Mikey, thank you.